Today I'm back with your next weekly guide for Fortnite Season 5, The Week 2 Challenges. These challenges were leaked online yesterday and thanks to Fortnite Tracker on Twitter and on their website, that's where I pulled the information from and we have the full list of what will be coming. In this video we'll be talking about all of the challenges, how to complete them, where all of the objectives will be such as where all the basketball courts are and I might miss one or two and if I do don't hate me please comment about the locations below because the point of this video is to help people complete the challenges. We're going to discuss where to search for the search mission and much more. If you guys like what you see definitely make sure to subscribe for more Fortnite content and drop a like on this video as it helps me know you guys like seeing this type of video. So a new week is here, a whole new set of challenges and remember we now have free section of challenges and battle pass challenges so even if you don't have the battle pass you can at least do some of the challenges. This video will discuss all of them. So let's start out with the first one deal damage with assault rifles to opponents now this one is super simple in my opinion and you don't really even need to focus on this because if you just play the game you get assault rifles you use them you'll most likely do this just by playing casually i mean it might take a few matches to do obviously but given the assault rifle is the weapon of choice by most people you shouldn't have a hard time doing this one next up we have search seven ammo boxes in a single match i remember the last time we had this mission i didn't prioritize it and so i didn't get it done until i really focused on doing this and this one might be a little bit harder if you don't prioritize it but once you do it shouldn't take you very long if you land in a place specifically where you can get a large amount of ammo boxes because you're the only one to land there and i'm going to talk about my favorite places to go that should help you get this done now if you find a safe spot and work your way through the map hitting like various little tiny buildings and outposts and things like that you're gonna find ammo boxes in there and you're gonna like if you know what to look for you can find ammo boxes pretty easily you probably get this done in one match now what I generally do is I pick a spot far from the bus route so like Haunted Hills or Junk Junction or something like that or this little area by Flush Factory is my favorite place to go to you work your way through other houses you work your way through the bridge etc and you generally can get this done in one go now this one area that I was talking about has around six ammo boxes, maybe even more actually, alone. And so I think that if you go to this spot and you're the only one to land here, you can probably get this done pretty easily, but just make sure that you either win or get eliminated for the mission to actually count and you to get credit for doing the ammo box um, uh, objective. Now, the biggest thing to keep in mind is that you need to look all over the place because ammo boxes are stashed in like corners and on shelves and things like that. So be on the lookout for ammo boxes, look behind cars and whatnot that are like parked up against houses because you never know where you're going to see one, especially if you go to an area that you've never been before. So definitely Definitely make sure to just prioritize this and you can get this one done fairly easily. The next free challenge is to eliminate opponents in Paradise Palms. This is like the new Tilted Tower, so you have to be ready for like intense action when you come here, but that's a good thing, especially if people are trying to get eliminations because you're probably gonna get, walk away with a kill. Now this one might be a bit harder, but if you prioritize like killing people when you get to this spot, you can get it done in a few matches, maybe even one. I don't know how your skill is. Based on what your skill is, you might be able to do it in one. Generally, you should probably be able to go there and uh, get at least one kill even if you die right away that's fine the objective is to get eliminations so if you do die just repeat until you get all three I mean it's pretty straightforward now but what, what you want to do is make sure to go to a part of the town that you're familiar with like you know the building you know where all the uh, uh, like the loot's gonna be and you can easily pick up things and defend yourself if you run into other players now if you don't know the town get to know it okay i mean basically get to know it um you're gonna if you find a good spot you, you'll have the best advantage you can maybe get a kill you can get up on a roof or something like that pick off people who are down in the middle it's not it shouldn't be that hard i mean these elimination challenges shouldn't be that hard because you can at least get one kill and then die and just repeat until you get it done okay so now we have the battle pass challenges first up we have score a basket on different hoops i kind of wish there was a golf one but i'm assuming they're saving that for another week it only makes sense that they're going to have that as well because there's a golf course it's like a thing with emotes and stuff like that so 
score a basket on different hoops. Make sure you obviously have the basketball emote equipped because you're not going to be able to do it if you don't have it equipped. But just go into a match, find a basketball court, shoot, shoot it, and hope that you make it. And, you know, it's pretty easy to do. You just look up and then you shoot it and you score. It'll, like, show you that you scored. And then you need to find five different hoops to score through okay that should be pretty simple because most basketball courts have two so you can at least get two done pretty easily so if 50 v 50 is still going on this is the perfect game mode to get this done in because people you know don't care what you're doing 50 v 50 most of the time and you can pretty much get them done easily so here are all the courts that i know about there might be other ones but here's the ones that i know of all right, so there are a lot of basketball locations all around the map, some that you might not even know about. I hope I can show you all the ones that I know of in this video, and you guys will be able to get this done pretty easily. All right, so first off, let's start with probably the most known about one, which is at Tilted Towers. There are two basketball hoops here, but this might be the hardest place to get some uh, three-point shots in the basketball hoop if there are obviously a lot of people around, so it might not be that easy. So I don't know if I would go here unless you have 50v50 working on your side, but uh, that is one area. It has two hoops. You could get, You could go here, and you could do part of the objective here if you wanted to. So next up we have two basketball courts that are pretty much right behind Tilted Tower at this little tiny like stadium type of area here, you know this spot right here. There's two two hoops here as well, so you should be able to come here and do this one pretty easily. And you might actually be able to get a little bit closer because I think you have to score three point shots. It's not specifically specified. I don't know if it is or not, but if it is, I mean you can come here. This is a little bit shorter. It's not nearly, I don't think as big as the tilted tower court and so you can come here and definitely get this done it's kind of like a playground area and so uh you see that little swing just come on over here shoot some hoops and see if you can get get the baskets and then right over in greasy grove we also have another small court with two hoops another playground area so you can buzz on over here and get this done so basically you could get four of them done pretty easily and then we're going to head over to snobby and you could get that one you can kind of make your way through all the different areas if you wanted to do it that way but if you stay on this side of the map you should be able to get this done pretty easily if you're if it's uncontested essentially all right so the hoops in snobby shore are in the far house in the backyard and this is a smaller court it's got two hoops here as well it's got walls around it so it could be a little bit easier you know a little bit more protected so kind of what i would suggest doing is maybe hit up this one first and then make your way over to that little stadium area do the ones there and then you could even go to greasy or tilted if you wanted to and do the hoops that are there as well so i'll show you where a couple other ones are as well so you guys have a little bit uh like other locations that you could potentially go to so there's a hoop here in jung junction just one single hoop i don't believe there's a makeshift one around or anything like that it's by this compactor thing so you could come here you could get this one done if you're feeling pressure from other areas just come here hit this one and uh go do a different one somewhere else but i do think there are makeshift ones around the map i can't remember where they are but i do remember seeing one at least and if I don't cover it, I apologize, like I said, but uh, just be on the lookout for what looks like a basketball hoop because you might find one in a different plot, spot that I don't talk about that doesn't actually look like a basketball hoop, just like you had with the soccer goals. There is one here at containers. You can hit this one up. Uh, it's I think this one will be pretty easy to do because not a lot of people drop at containers if the bus route is kind of far away. So you could come here, get this one. It should, I mean, this, this should be a pretty easy challenge to get done, in my opinion. The only thing is is that I don't know if you have to score a three point or not because if you have to score a three point you might only be able to do it on specific courts but this one it does say just hoops so this one could work as well you do have one in this little tiny area that's right behind retail and so you could come here as well if you're I don't know I would generally probably hit up the ones with double hoops because if you can do them real fast you can get out of there and actually play the match but there is one here if you want to come here and get this one as well and then we have two here in retail row as well it's kind of in this area of the of the uh, town you can it's kind of starting to get towards the residential area so you can come here and grab these ones as well but retail might be a little bit more intense so i don't know if i would come here to try to do this one i wouldn't go to tilted either i would just maybe hit up some of the other obscure out out 
lying areas and go with those ones first instead of trying to go to these ones maybe like i said hit up snobby and then the little stadium and then greasy you could probably get those done pretty easily by doing those ones and the last one we'll talk about is here in paradise palms it's right here at the end of the street you can kind of see where it is in relation to the rest of the town this one might be a little bit harder to do unless you're doing it in 50 v 50 um like i said maybe hit up those other ones first but that's all the locations that i know about like i said there might be more you guys comment below help other people out if you know of any other ones like i said i think there's a makeshift one somewhere but i can't remember where it is next up we have search chests in loot lake now some people are saying oh this is gonna be so hard it's gonna be really difficult to do i don't think so because some buildings have three chests in them in them in and of themselves and so you should be able to do this rather easily what i'm going to try to do is walk you through the most efficient way to do this as there are chests spread out all over the place and there are a lot of chests in this area so you should be able to get this done in a few matches if you manage to get a large number in each match now you only need seven of them so it shouldn't take you very long to do and if 50 v 50 is going on like i said hop into this and give it a go as long as the bus is on your side because you should be able to get a bunch of chests by yourself now just keep in mind that these are going to these areas that have the objectives are going to be flooded the first day so it might take a little bit longer but if you play a little bit i think you should get this done fairly easily so here are all the chests and here's what i suggest uh doing when you first get to this area to give you like the most amount of chests in one go potentially all right, so Loot Lake is a massive area. There's a lot of chests here. I think there is the possibility of potentially 15 chests in this area. And so if you get a lot of them yourself, you should be able to get this done fairly quickly. So where are all the chests and where do I think is the best place to go? Okay, so I'm gonna try to set this up to where you can get three chests. Now, they're not always there, but this is generally where I think I would go first off to try to get these ones because it's really easy to land in this area and get these chests if they're there. So first up, go to this building right here and then break in the roof and there's almost always a chest right there, almost always. And then if you come downstairs, there's almost always a chest behind these boxes. And then you could come outside and sometimes there'll be a, a chest that spawns in this little gated area. So you could get that one. There's a chest that can spawn out there in the boat, but I wouldn't get that one because it's super exposed. And then there's almost always a chest over here on top of this camper. And I don't know if this counts, but I'm gonna assume that it does. So you can go and get four chests potentially in that little run two in this building one there and one on the camper like i said i wouldn't necessarily go for that one because it's so exposed and i don't believe that there is a chest that spawns in this building anymore although there might be up here on the top level i actually don't go to this building since they put the disco thing in it's just as annoying to go to it's super loud i don't like it so <laughs> i don't generally go there anymore and so i don't know what changes they made to this building if any all right so next up i would come to this modern house if you guys are still looking for chests come to the modern house and I think there's only the potential for a chest to spawn in the garage so grab this one and then come out of the garage go into the watchtower I think one spawns up here generally one it's not there now but uh, you can come down here there's almost always a chest in this little shack area here come right out of here come up to this area right here there's almost always a chest like this is almost always guaranteed to have a chest here and then i do think that you can go out to this island here if you wanted to and get the chest that's here and then over here by the like meteor fragment lately i've only been seeing one but i i'm pretty sure that there are two chests that can spawn on this island here so you could grab these two these are pretty contested usually so generally i tr i kind of avoid these if i can and then the other spot is the house in the middle here which i think has three chests that could potentially spawn here you know what scratch that i think there's potentially four chests that could be here one in the attic one in this bedroom right here on the side one bedroom in here, one in this bedroom one outside which i don't think i've ever got before but i'm pretty sure there's a chest outside here somewhere and then there's one in the uh the mine almost always and there isn't one in here this time around so um i would i would generally not go to this house if you're trying to do the do the objectives because then i have one to four spawn here it would be very efficient to do but you have to go from here to you know the shore or i guess you could go from here to that island but this is a really contested spot so i would go to this place first that would be my first choice to go to you don't have to go there but that's where i would go i also think yeah this this boat can I have one and this boat can I have one 
I don't think it's worth going to the boats, uh, especially if you're like in a competitive atmosphere. But I would hit up this place first. You could potentially get lucky with the modern house to the watchtower, to the little boat shack there, to that campsite, and then come across here and get this one. I don't know if that would ever happen, but if you did get them, you just got a lot in one go. So those that's kind of where all the chests are. You guys can look around for yourself and find, find the place that you want to go to. But, uh, you know, you might take a couple matches doing that. But that's where all the chests are. Hopefully you guys can get that done with uh, relative ease. Next up, I would like to cover the Sniper Rifle Eliminations Challenge. Now, you only need to get two. And I remember when I first started playing Fortnite that getting sniper eliminations was very hard for me because I sucked. <laughs> I mean, I was really bad. Uh, but then I watched a video from my buddy Denver on sniping. That Denver guy, look him up if you don't know him, which I'm sure most people do. He says to just take all the shots that you can. As you learn how to predict your shots, you learn how to aim, you learn how to react quickly, how to correct yourself, and just get comfortable with sniping. So since then, I have done just that, and I have started to get more and more and more eliminations with the sniper. And I'm still not the best, but it's getting easier for me. So my biggest suggestion is to do what he says, to just take shots as best as you can, and eventually you will do this challenge. You will get two eliminations eventually. It will happen. Again, if 50v50 is going on, do it in this mode as people just kind of stand around like lemmings and they don't even move it's pretty easy to do and you can get a lot of kills in 50v50 if it's still going on just make sure that if you down somebody with a sniper rifle shot you eliminate them and you can also down an opponent and then pull out your sniper and shoot them and i believe that that will count as a sniper rifle elimination so there's pretty easy ways to do this if you can't get long distance shots you could do it that way Next up, we have the challenge to search between an oasis, a rock archway, and dinosaurs. Now, this is obviously in the new desert area, and here is where I think it may be specifically, but there will also be several other areas that I'll show you that I think it could also be if it's not in the first area that I tell you about. All right, so if you haven't been to the desert area yet, you probably haven't seen that there are dinosaurs over there. Then there's also this nice big archway right here. And then there's also this oasis. And so our goal is to search between the oasis, the archway, and the dinosaurs. Now, I think that is specifically referring to this archway and not that archway right there with the bridge on it because I think they would maybe have said that. But if it is, then it might be in a different location. But I'm going to show you where I think it is specifically or, and if it's not there, where it could be. All right, so here's the archway, right? Here's the oasis and here are the dinosaurs. So in between them, usually they're on a point of interest, like a spot on the map that's really high up or it's, it looks specific. And generally before there was a little patch of dirt. Well, given the fact that this is all desert and everything's dirt here, it's gonna be a little harder to find. But I think that it's right here on top of this big mountain. So if you come to this area, it could be right up here on top of this mountain. And I'm gonna assume maybe like right over here or something in this area or maybe just in the center and if it's not there it might be on this little outcropping here or on this outcropping which this could be pretty likely it being here just because there's nothing here it looks like a spot where they could put an objective the other place it could be is right down here between these cacti maybe up on top of that rock or something generally if you'll see one of these little like flat areas out here i'm gonna assume there could be it could be here, like in between these two cacti. Generally, there's like kind of a point of interest to them. You're going to know the day of it happening because everybody and their brother is going to be going to this specific location. So just look for other people. And that's like the easiest way that I can tell you to find it. Just look where everyone else is landing. Go there and get it. The other spot it could be would be right here on top of this little mound. I'm going to assume not, though. I am going to assume that it's up here on top of this mountain. So come to this area, look in this area, and really just look for where the people are going because people are going to know. Unfortunately, I'm, I'm going to make this video beforehand, so I'm not going to be able to tell you exactly where it is, and, the, and I've already done it. So that's where I would go to look for the search between mission. Hopefully, you guys find it pretty easily. Hope you guys... Um, 
can kind of navigate the area and find it with relative ease. So that's it for this week's challenges. I think they should be relatively easy to get done, and I hope you guys have a lot of fun doing them. Thanks for watching this video, and make sure to subscribe and turn on Always Notified so you guys will know every time I put out a new video. Guys, thanks for watching. Stay positive. Be blessed. Catch you next time.